we've done a lot of research with consumers of all types, frankly, broad industries, and in trying to determine from a psychographic perspective how they make purchase decisions. This is a very broad comment. I will make that comment up front, not apologize for it, but just to bring it to some specific relief, we see that there are three segments out there that we're going to look at in, frankly, all levels of purchasing. This is true at the manufacturing level. This is true at the wholesale, the distribution level. This is certainly true at retail as we see how people make decisions. But I wanted to lift this up for you as you begin to think about how the critical nature of being effective at selling in this market. The three that we see are these. There's a person who I'm just going to plain and simple call the price buyer. Okay? You know how they're influenced, right? These are the things that flip their trigger. They're highly pragmatic, and let me just give you the characteristics first. Highly pragmatic and self-reliant. They want the lowest possible price. Anybody ever met one of these folks? Right? We absolutely have. That's their definition of good is what's lowest price. Okay, that's what really drives them. They're really not interested in service. You can tell them you got the best installers in the world. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Uncle Harry, he put in some tile once. He's pretty good. <laughs> Everybody's always got an uncle who knows how to put in tile. Okay, it's the same aunt who does wallpaper. Same couple, right? As you play that out. Uh, relies on your own information sources. In other words, I don't need you. I found out everything I need to know on the internet, right? Okay, and uh, they like little or uh, they have little or no dealer loyalty. And I'm gonna again, I always take it to retail at, at its finest point. They don't really care. That's not that doesn't become my tile guy or my tile business. That's just another supplier out there in the marketplace. So that's who they are. I'll come back and talk about them a little bit more in a moment. The next group we want to call more of a business oriented, or if you want to think about it, the people who have the ability to do the price value equation. Wouldn't it be nice to have more of them? Right? But let me just share with you real quickly their characteristics. And again, this, you can pull this all down off the association website. Brief and to the point, they like experience, they want facts along with the experience, they demand appointments, and they absolutely do indeed have the ability to compare price and value. Okay? Know who that person is? Got some of those maybe that have been customers of yours, continue to be customers of yours. And then let's look at this last group. Thank goodness we still got some of them going to call them relationship buyers. You know who these people are. They like and expect regular contact. They value your time. They frankly don't shop much. You're my person who provides me this service or product around the tile industry. You're my guy. You're my business. Does anybody have some of those customers? Thank goodness we all do, right? If we didn't, it would be really a mess. Now, Here's my question to you as you think about it. And again, you think about what's worth something to each of these. I'll just throw this out here real quickly because I know it's very, very hard to read. Um, this guy, no frills, okay, very brief kind of information. This person, what do they want? They, they really want customized analysis, things done just for them. That's where they see value. And, and this guy really mostly, they want consistency. One of the things, how many of you have had that relationship type buyer and they complain to you because you never have the same staff? Where's Bob? Just got to know Jim. Where's Sally? Right? Constantly, that, that's something that they, they really value. Because again, for them, it's about the relationship. Now, let me give you just a way in your mind you might recognize where these people fall. The price buyer is probably the kind of person that this one's pretty straightforward. He'll probably ask this kind of a question of you or your sales team. Okay? What will it cost me? Pretty straightforward, pretty easy, makes sense, right? But it's the next one that's kind of interesting. The next one's really going to ask more of a question around, and you can phrase it in a hundred different ways, but in essence it is, what will it make me? In other words, what's the investment value? What's the long-term as well as the short-term that is going to make that a valuable, good, long-term decision? So in other words, think in terms of what will it make me? And the third person on there is going to ask you pretty, I hope, straightforward. They're going to ask this question. What do you think I should do? Again, we all said, thank goodness we got some of these folks, right? I mean, you just tell them, right? Hey, I got, I'm thinking about doing this. I got this project. It may be a commercial project, whatever. I, I got this many square feet. I'm thinking about doing this. What do you think I should do? And you make a couple recommendations, and boom, that's the way they go. Wouldn't it be nice if they were all that way? 